The following is presented by the Pinellas County Extension. Once again, I'm here with Pam Brown, the Extension Horticulture Agent here at the Botanical Gardens. And okay, you know, we're going to talk about feeding and fertilizing and all that stuff you do to, to all the greenery. But Pam, I have to start out by saying, I mean, what happened years ago when we didn't have all of that technology? The forests were beautiful. You go to parks, they're green. Everything's growing just fine. That's true. Plants do just fine. The difference is in the forest or in a natural area, all of the uh, dying plant material goes directly back to the ground. It decays there, producing organic matter that slowly releases nutrients back to the plant. In our manicured landscapes, we take all that away. Ah. And so it's not there. But we're putting in chemicals, whereas it's usually done organically. And we talked about composting and mulching before. We did, and compost is a great fertilizer. It will slowly release um, nutrients back to the, to the plant and into the soil. But the other thing is that that organic matter helps hold nutrients close to the oh, plant roots. So you have to have the nutrients there to begin with. Right. So, so now we all of a sudden have to start chemically well, doing that. Part of the reason is we like to grow a wide variety of plants here in Florida. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are tropical plants that are used to different growing conditions. We have fairly sandy, soil, infertile right, soil. Right, right. The nutrients move through it very quickly, so we usually have to add some nutrients back to the soil because of that. And it's primarily because of the plant pallets that we grow. Well, well, here's the confusing part for me. I mean, I wish I could just go to the store and buy one thing that would take care of it. There's there's all these numbers on the bags, and then you know there's grass fertilizer, and then there's there's vegetable plant food, there's plant food for every type of flower and plant you can imagine out there. It just gets too it gets too confusing. I mean, plant foods, plant fertilizers, liquids, steaks, pebbles, you know, the kind you put in your hose <laughs> and spray. Where, yes. where do we even begin with all of that? Well, that's that's a good question. And you probably could use just a generic fertilizer, something like 888 or 1010. Whoa, 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 you're going right. with the numbers. Okay, <laughs> Those, well, let's explain a little okay, bit about please, the numbers. Quickly, yes. The numbers are always in this order, those three numbers are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Those are three nutrients that plants need in, gr in larger quantities. And, and there's a law that says you got to put those numbers on the back. Okay. <laughs> so, so what we're talking about then goes back to what we've talked about before about knowing what your soil or what what you need in your soil for what you're growing. It kind of goes back to that, That's right? true. If you want to be really scientific about it, you could take some, a soil sample. Uh, we have the forms and the, and the containers here that needs to be sent to the university because they analyze it for, um, not for nitrogen. Nitrogen is very mobile in the soil, but the other nutrients, they analyze it for it. You tell them what you want to grow and they'll tell you what you need to add. Oh, great. But again, it's talking about where in your yard because I'm assuming it's going to be different for the grass. Oh, it might. The type of grass that you have maybe yeah. or the type of plants that you're trying to to grow. Well, what about plant food? I mean, you know, and you can buy those little steaks that you just sort of hammer in the ground there or you put in your little pots. Plant food is really not plant food. Plants make their own food. They take light from the sun and photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, that's right. That's you got right. it. <laughs> but, but, but the fertilizer is like, is like vitamins. We take vitamins yes, to, to yes, be a little more yes. healthy. Plants can use those nutrients like vitamins to be more healthy. So what's the best form of it? I mean, I've, you've seen the powder kind that you can put out. There's liquid. I've seen the steaks that you drive in. I've seen the little pebbly kind of grainy, right. granular. The granular kind is probably a slower release because it's coated with something and, okay. and that slowly degrades and releases okay. the fertilizer slowly. That's a good thing. The stakes that you see for trees uh -huh. are a waste of money. But don't they go right down to the root? Well, but the roots are all over the place. And if you put a few stakes in, they dissolve, go down. down. In, no. our, in our type of soil, they may move out a little bit, but not much. 
they go down as the rain or irrigation hits them. So that's really a waste of money. It's better to broadcast the fertilizer over the whole root zone. What about the kind that you spray in with your hose? I've seen those containers. Yeah, you can get you can get that, and that's good for annual plants that you've planted, maybe even your vegetable garden to get mm -hmm. it started because mm -hmm. they're heavy. Uh, need they need a lot of nutrients, and so they. Um, can use that extra fast boost. You know what, this is also confusing to me. Maybe I should just call one of those companies that comes out and they do it all for me. Well, for your lawn, there are a lot of people who use lawn services. You would want to talk to them though and ask them how they're doing it. Are they using only water-soluble fertilizer? Because you really want to use some slow release. Water-soluble fertilizer in our sandy soils, Every time it rains, it's oh, moving right. oh, my away. Gosh. Oh my gosh. So you would want to talk to them. Ask them if they're following University of Florida guidelines. Ah, because for, that would be for our soil, right? Yes. Ooh, good point. You know, Susan, we've talked about all these different fertilizers, but we do have to think about the environmental impact of using chemical fertilizers because if we use too much or if we use too high in nitrogen, those things leach into the soil. They can leach all the way to the groundwater. Mm. They can also run off in stormwater events oh, wow. where and go into our bay, the Gulf. So we need to think about those things. That's why slow release fertilizers are really the best. A be the best. Wow. It seems like, Pam, there's so much to know and there's so many different variables. How can I possibly grasp all this information? You can't, not in this little segment, but you go to the website. We have a lot of publications and you can read to your heart's content. Great, Wonderful. Also, you can always call Extension. We are here to answer questions. That's good to know. And what do we need to be doing right now for our plants and our yards? Good time to prune and fertilize your roses, but get them ready for a great growing season. Also, uh, this is the best time to put out pre-emergent herbicide on your lawn to keep those weeds from sprouting. Wonderful, thank you again, Pam Brown. For more information on this and many more topics, visit www.pinellascountyextension.org.